All right, we are back with some more Road to World Series. It looks like we're going to be facing the Blue Jays because of his logo, his uh, team icon. Uh, we have Walker Buehler mound while he is Corey Kluber. Could not think of it there for some reason. Uh, he's got a pretty nice lineup, honestly. Pretty stacked. He's got Prestige Tatis just like me, except mine's in the leadoff spot. What is his record? He is 186 and 145. All right, he's actually a pretty solid player. We're at two outs, though, in the first inning with Walker Buehler. And on a 2-2 count, he's just going to fly it to center. And that was a 1-2-3 inning for Walker Buehler on 10 pitches. Pretty smooth first inning for Walker Buehler there. So let's head into the bottom of the first and see what we can do against Corey Kluber. First batter of the game, way inside fastball. Tatis gets all over it, and it's gone. We lead off with a home run on that pitch. I really don't get it, but we did it. Now Jose Ramirez up on an 0-2 count with nobody out still. And we're going to get a nice cheese low base hit against the shift to give us a double. So we get another runner. Well, we get another guy for a hit and another guy on base. Now we got a runner in scoring position for Joey Votto. And Joey Votto on a 1-0 count is going to hit a ball into left field. Bloop it out there. And now we're going to have first and third with nobody out to bring up, I think, um, Mickey Mantle. Yeah. And Mickey Mantle's actually going to crush a ball. Not even... I thought it was a perfect, perfect. But he's going to crush a ball in the right field. And now we have first and second with nobody out. And we brought in another run. We're already up 2-0 without him even recording an out. Corey Seager's now up. And on first pitch, he's going to throw a nice slurve low and away. A little bit of a dot right there. Got me. But now on an 0-1 count, he's going to throw a cutter right down the middle. And Seager takes it yard. A three-run shot. And he quits. First inning quit. Yeah, pretty fucking nuts. Let's on, head on to the next game, though. Max Scherzer on the mound against Noah Syndergaard. Not a guy you see too often, especially up in this rating. He's got a pretty interesting team. He's got Rock Haru leading off. He's got Prestige Tony Gwen, Joe Torre. He's still using the Cody Bellinger. as Hanley Ramirez as a second leadoff hitter. A really weird-looking team. A very weird-looking team. I don't really... I've never seen anybody with a team like this. This is interesting. But he's pretty good. 200 First inning, though, to lead off the game, we get a base hit off Noah Syndergaard. I don't really find him a hard pitch to hit, so I think I'm going to enjoy this game. Now still in the first inning, 2-2 count to Jose Ramirez, and what does he do? He hits a two-run shot. Damn right he does. Look at the ball. It's carrying. It's gone. Jose Ramirez is fucking crushing for this team, man. He's doing great. And just like that, we have a 2-0 lead without recording an out, and Joey Votto is also going to crush a ball. Fastball down the middle, and it's a home run. 3 nothing without recording, and we are feeling it right now. We are just hitting, man. We're hitting everything. Mike Trout now with two out and nobody on base. He's going to go ahead and hit a ball into the gap because Tony Gwynn could not get to it in time, and that is going to put Mike Trout on second base with two outs. We're going to have a runner in scoring position with two out and see if we can score him. Christian Yelich up. First pitch for him. He's going to get under the fastball, and it's just going to be a fly out to left field. Nothing crazy nothing insane didn't even get to warning track so that's going to end the top of the first bottom of the first for max shows their 0-1 count and we throw a pitch pretty much right down the middle and ty cobb gets on it and he hits it just out honestly this borderline as they come off the foul pole it fucking not far at all just it annoyed me but whatever uh curveball you know it hangs a bit and he gets a little bit of a weak hit there so he gets hit up the middle so now he's kind of rallying already in the first here Cody Bellinger, 1-2 count. Nice away cutter, and we get him to fly out to center. We just needed to end that rally, and we would be all right. So let's head on to the second and see what this team does here in the second. Max Scherzer, 1-2 count. Going to strike out, so he strikes us out for the first time of the game. And then uh, for Tatis, what's he going to do? 2-2 count, and he's going to just grind out to the third baseman. Honestly, thought he was going to strike out, but no, he does not. Just going to end the top of the second. Let's try and shut him down in the bottom of the second. Tony Gwen 2-2 two, two count. And he gets a little cheese base hit again. Can you tell how his team's built, man? He's, he's built for these kind of hits. His team is built for this shit. 0-0 oh, oh, count to the pitcher. And we get him exactly where we want him with the cutter. We get him to hit right into a double play. And that's going to end the second inning just like that. Works out perfectly for us. Let's head on to the top of the third. Let's see what this team does. Jose Ramirez back up. And oh, oh. Up fastball, and he is all over it. Another home run for Jose Ramirez. A two-run home run today just for this game, and another, and also a double in the first game. So he's looking pretty good today. Corey Seager also going to crush the ball, so he's looking even better. Two home runs for him right now. I don't think he got a hit in his first at-bat, but, I mean, two home runs and four RBIs is pretty fucking good. Goddamn. 
All right, now we got Trout up on an 0-1 count. He's going to crush a ball up center, and it's just going to end up being a line-out, sadly. He crushes the ball, but, yeah, I mean, there's nothing more you can do there. On to the bottom of the third, an 0-2 count to Fernando Tatis Jr., and we're going to strike him out on a fastball through the heat right by him. And after that, he is going to go ahead and sit here for a second. Then he's going to go ahead and pause the game right now, and he's going to go ahead and suddenly friendly quit. I did not instantly. Fuck, no, I'm not fucking accepting a friendly quit in a 5-1 game, and he quits. So we get two rage quits on the video, and I was going to do another game in this recording, but it would have probably pushed this video to 20 minutes. I would have pushed it to be way too long. It's a full game, the next one, so I'm not even going to bother with that. But yeah, guys, just a little bit of a short one this time, but it is uh, action-packed. So hopefully you do enjoy it. But yeah, guys, if you did, hit the thumbs up on if you did enjoy it. Subscribe to my content like this. As always, I will see you in the next one. Peace.